for me. I, I don't want your worship. If I saw you, you like try to bow down before me or something, I'd smack you because I would be the one who had to bow down before you. I'd be. What I'm saying is that if you cross into my threshold of my own, I will kiss your fucking feet. Literally. It, uh, it's because thrown out of heaven for not worshiping this creation created by your creator. You know, I'm not making this mistake. What I'm saying is that I know I come off like an asshole, but everybody around me, I give them worship, whatever, whatever anybody wants, they get worship. Just because I, I talk this way over the fucking video or, or, or the video and rub it in people's faces, that's because it's on everything. There's no way to fuck it up. You know? You'll see the, the Vatican with the Jesus statue in the fire it looks like a snake. That's because it's the great dragon, Typhon and Sut, joined in an androgynous relationship. You'll see the whole mouth of the congregation is in the mouth of the snake. It's, we will leap into the flame, mouth of the snake below you. You get why you're about I don't need to hail Satan. I don't want you fucking worship. I don't, this is not a religion or anything like this. It, we got to stay focused. It's, for the benefit of all, we need to get the sealed elect together by the book. Then it's like everything by the book. It, it's, it's not something the gods would argue. Not something your government would argue. Your religion would argue. Any common person you go to school, you got to do everything by the book, you got to pay taxes, but everything by the book, everything's by the book, we do everything here is this company by the book, you know, study up your case off, everything's by the book, your police chief, we do everything by the book in this precinct, it's, I'm just saying it to you, it's not, this is not something people can run, if I can't run from it, no other motherfuckers gonna run from. Eventually, you're gonna have to come to the realization that I'm not full of shit, and that your grandma didn't need to die, your great grandma didn't, and all the people in your family tree didn't need to die. They didn't need to die. Why has it come to now where I have to scream this shit out religiously and tell people like, let it take hold? I mean. I mean, if I'd stop for like one day, it's like, the other be like, wow, oh my God. It's, somebody has to do it. You know, you might say, why am I putting all those gory videos of Claymation up? Until you get to the place you're gonna die, you've seen that movie a thousand or a million ways to die, you're a zombie. And you know what happens to zombies. They show it to you in all those zombie movies. Dick bolts in their head and chopped up with chainsaws and all kinds of shit. It's, that's an actual order, right? You're a zombie. And until you figure out, like, the elixir of immortality, the holy grail type stuff, that your creator is real and takes your games. Like, 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 like people say, I'm a demonic or demons are going to get you. This, that, this, this is the funny shit. I mean, come on. This is the funny shit. Up. You see what I've been getting away with? Okay. If there's some scary force out there that's going to come after you. It would have came after me long fucking before. And, like, done something. Because, like they, like, they, like, they show you in Dante's Inferno. Uh, the Smoky God uploaded that five-minute video, and I just uploaded it to my channel. And what it, 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 it spells it out for you. I mean, literally, all the shit I've been saying is like coming out of this cartoon. And you think that's an accident? So when you think of like demons or angels, these are like the elemental forces or spirits of the universe that are capturing people's minds and attentions to bring them down the road to make them say the type of shit like I say. Like, you know, where you reverse it, it comes out to all, like, lap it up, you know, like, you have all the shit that... I've been saying reverse this up to some pretty clear shit. So this is like the same type of thing. The fact that the scriptwriters wrote that shit out for an actor to speak in a studio where the animation matches or, or any type of movie where it's uh, compasses are pointing or 
like Jumanji with the green shit. It's literally uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. They show you the upside down world. The true heart's desire, which is eternal life, forgiveness for your filthy soul, passion in the Garden of Eden. I know you think it's wealth and treasure, but that's not it. You don't need wealth and treasure when everything is like built to cater to you and everybody else. Is this, what do you need trinkets of? We'll just cover our castles with it. Like they, they covered buildings with this gold. To think that you would pocket it and use it as something to bargain with somebody. To bargain. It's like whatever it is that, that you think you, you got to have. I mean, it's, it's like it's, it's what, the minute you throw that idea to somebody else, and now they want it, and it, it should be enough to, to create for everybody. I mean, it's just, if there's a new luxury that just popped out, like, like before there was a cell phone or like an iPhone, now you know, everyone wants to do iPhones, you know. Before that first iPhone came out, you, know, you wanted your Blackberry is bullshit. What I'm saying is that now you have to think that people would pay bills on cell phone towers that are already set up and paid for. All the computers are in place. Everything's set up. In fact, you guys get richer and richer, and they're all competing with each other. It, it, like, the rise in Ava. That doesn't make any sense to me. How can everything be for the benefit of all? That there's one fucking cellular thing set up, and it's there to give out whatever for free. It doesn't even pay for it. It's a, they think you pay for electricity. The power plants are already fucking there. They, you know what I'm saying? The coal is already there. What I'm saying is, how all this shit got so far out of control, it, it's clearly, it was the Pope saying he, he got the triple crown stating that he's above everybody. He burnt into the flesh of a newborn baby, the papal bull stating that you're a slave. You check off male or female that only pertains to cattle. Like, is it a male or female? Does it have white spots? Is it a black stallion? Is this what kind of, is this Angus beef? You, you know, whatever it is about you, like you see in your birth certificate, blue eyes, brown eyes, blonde hair, you're categorized like cattle. You go to class so they know what to classify you as when you get done with school. You get your degree, what what degree, you know, you, everything is if all you're, you're literally cattle. You're, you have to do something or somebody has to do something to pay for your lifestyle today. Like whatever it is, you got to eat or somebody has got to make something. If you're not having to make anything because you've got some endowment or, or whatever, somebody had to put all that shit into place with their hard work or, or whatever. Yeah. You know, what I'm trying to get at is that the idea that, that people have to work like we do the weekend like, like, like the whole wording the every word you speak is a magic spell that I published a video and you hear the lady telling you you know you wake up like go to a wake you know it's everything it's the morning like you're mourning the dead you know everything when you say good morning you're mourning the death of the night is what I'm saying to you is that everything about our words is, is like it's like right there like the bank is like the bank of a river and it, the, the current the flow of currency that's what you use to currency that you know every freaking word I mean hides the freaking truth right there in plain sight and like this whole God thing you know people yeah, right. To think that people worship you know, a false image. I don't care how much you hold this cross or whatever, you kiss it and you all, that is worshiping a false idol, right? You, you know, but when I spill my blood on this magic box, you, know, you can be better off taking your statue of Jesus and spilling your blood on that and saying, 
Jesus, if you're out there. You know, it's like, it's like when I first stepped up and spilled up my blood, it was under super luminous one. And now I'm the darkest guy in the fucking world. After I go from super luminous one, Prince of Darkness, then to quasi luminous. People are like, oh, quasi here. Quasi is, you know, quasi luminous here. Luminous, but not quite. You know, people were always trying to attack this type of name. The Rhino Axe. The fact that quasi luminous reverses to. Samael is absolutely fucking impossible. It's absolutely impossible. Yeah, because it, it, it comes after the fact. After we're, we're already pointing out the angel of death shit, the Satan stuff. Now, this happens to come out, and it's, it's by the book, it has power over death. The one fucking power Satan has just turns out to be the power over sin and death. That's sin and death. They go hand in hand. If you're like, sinless, you made it at home with your soul, your party's for life. But eventually, it'll hit you. You're, you're a mythical type person. You're here for a reason. You're supposed to just lay low, stay out of trouble, make some fucking videos with me. If it takes one year, two years, we're going to unite enough motherfuckers by the book. And just, it all just comes together. It's, it's you want other people to believe, you know, this type of shit, you, you pull the fucking shit together. You, you gotta pull your shit together. When I say that it's my sealed elector, it's like every, you're all each other's sealed elect. Huh? Me as king, I bow down before you. You can't bow down before me. I have the smallest castle in the kingdom. Everybody's got to be elevated above me. You know? You think if, if I didn't bow down for to be a king, you cannot have a crown. That is ridiculous. Everybody else needs to have the crown. That's what makes you think you're, you've crowned everybody else in your kingdom and you're elevating everybody and their lifestyle above you. And that's why you have this mythical power as king because you're the most selfless person. Nobody's going to point a finger at you and say, yeah, he's, he's in that, he's already well, ever, look at him, he's eating better, living better, whatever. That, how could, how is that making you kingly? That you're living better than everybody you're, I don't get it. How people don't get it that you would bow before your king who could hang you or tell you you can't shoot the deer, you're gonna starve, or you're gonna be pulled into our military and go up to wars that are just for us to profit and just to thin you out, keep you dumb. But look, that knowledge could have been handed down over the years. That that knowledge has been kept from everybody. Basic shit. Yes. I'm telling you as a devil, I've Disgusted at what I've seen, but at least I could see it. And you know, you have to for you to know where you're going. You have to see where you came from. I can see where we're coming from. It's awful. I can see where we're going from, and it ain't got nothing to do with money, worship, or advice. It's about eternal life, forgiveness for your filthy soul, passage in the garden, of Eden, and the power to come back here and release everybody you suggest you hold dear. You know. You know, from bondage. And if you say they're not in bondage, well, look at your fucking birth certificate. It's on bonding paper. It's got a fucking bonding number. It's got borders on it and shit. You're categorized and it's got to be notarized if you get a copy. Of, you know, this. What I'm saying is, you couldn't get a driver's license without your birth certificate. Don't carry a car. You're so woven up. You got a telephone number, address, social security number. You got all kinds of accounts, everything. You can't do nothing without being on the grid. When they say getting off the grid, you'd have to be like up in Alaska, out in the mountains, literally with no cell phone. If you have any communication device that's sending out or receiving a signal, you're on the grid. You're a fucking robotic slave. You're gonna wake up every morning on time, to breakfast on time, get to work on time. Whatever it is you do, you're gonna fucking do it like you always do. Until somebody pulls you out of that, like you were arrested and forced to go to jail. Now you're on somebody else's time, where they wake you up at three o'clock in the morning and throw you a ham sandwich and a rotten apple and a carton of milk. You're ever a creature of habit. Come on. Even if you don't have a job, you're still gonna wake up, walk the dog on time. You're just, 
you reach out to him whenever you do. You, you call your mom every Wednesday or whatever it is that you take your pills that you take regularly. People. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I want to talk to you about the proclamation that he started and why he decided for it to be I intend to bring forth heaven on it for the benefit of all. That's because the whole basis of reality was it's as on earth as it is in heaven, you know. That's what it's supposed to be, that heaven's supposed to come to earth. That was, you know, you're in hell right now. And I was assaulted by the police officers after trying to help the neighbor, my neighbor, which is an old lady, she was getting literally assaulted by the police officers. When I stepped in, you know, to help her, they assaulted me. I lost organs and shit. And what I'm saying is, I knew that nobody was safe. Nobody was safe. The police see you as the enemy. And, uh, you know, I started to see what, what was going on. People were starving, you know. I, I, I realized that this wasn't, you know, that heaven on earth, you know. Because you always hear these Christians in the background that it is heaven on earth or something like that. You're in hell right now, for sure. And when that sunk in, I realized that, you know, this was going to be my, you know, my, the thing I was going to hold on to to, to move to the next level. Because, you know, when you go through diversity, you know, and then you go through that shit. I was stuck in a bed for, couldn't move because my whole shit had to be like, you know, to get up. You know, it was like horrible. You couldn't do anything. What I'm saying is, you know, you're like weeping. You're like, oh. Poor me, poor me, and you know, when you're finally at the bottom, and the worst part of your life, that's where shit starts to, to go in that other direction, like when I start sun gazing, and uh, they were never talking about speaking your intent into the sun, this type of thing, so I've gone through all this shit, and now I wanted to try and do something better for the world, so I started speaking that into the sun, and I always seen these pictures of the sun, they always had faces on them. You never see a picture in alchemy of a, of the sun, or the black sun, or the moon, or any the celestial bodies without a face on them, because these are living conscious beings. They're just not in the flesh. They have no blood to spill up. <laughs> and, and, you know, the, the sun, let me tell you something. The sun, that's what's taking possession of me above my head to make me say, do certain shit that has led us to this because you know like you look back at that video when I was seeing this they break it in my home with no warrant but people don't realize what what they were seeing with the no knock 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 we have a warrant if the door gets broken down they better have what in their fucking hand right you can't just so when people say when people post a negative video about me and that type of shit I can assure you the police will one day knock down the door. It's called what comes around goes around. When you talk shit like that, you're setting yourself up. It's every word you speak is a magic spell. You talk something about me because I stand there as a devil and you say, well, I'm this, I'm that, whatever. Because I'm a flat earther. That means that being beat up by the police and invaded in your home and all your shit like that. And it gives you the right to talk shit about me. I assure you, what comes around goes around. Anybody... It even throws out shit like that. You just set yourself up for like, when the next time you're pulled over, they're gonna find something to fuck your day over with. Just to show you uh, that you have no power, you're powerless. And unless you know specific shit, you're powerless. I'm just telling you, you're powerless. So, you know, the answer to your question was, I had to be beaten up by police after trying to help a neighbor was an old lady, literally. I had to go through all that shit to finally realize that it was hell on earth and it had to be changed. And that's where I got my proclamation ideas from. Because a king is not supposed to be able to send out his troops to beat down people's doors in the middle of the night, take possession of their property and shit without probable cause or something like this. You know what I mean? This is the type of shit I caught on video. I caught this shit on video. I streamed it live. They couldn't... They couldn't get it back. That's why, once it was up there, now you can see people can download it or say whatever the horrible. You're gonna cry, baby, whatever. That's funny. 
You gotta hit rock bottom and go through that shit. Now look at me. I went from fry baby to motherfucking Satan in the flesh. You can see my son. <laughs> see. Oh. You know, you see this shit, and then when you reverse it, there's it's no way. We still are rat, are we? See, they're all dead. See, they're all dead. Dead be they're all ready. Dead be they're all ready. See, they're all ready dead. See, they're all ready dead. Dead be they're all ready. Dead be they're all ready. Almighty God, die, eat them all. Hurt, Omulus. Shelf in the love end of my arm. I am but net love on the flesh. Silly monster. Almighty God. God, eat them all. We never already said. Already dead. Dead, already dead. Dead, already dead. Everybody's dead. Start closing. Arlington said, This is not an accident. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. There's no way. Nobody says this shit. You are, when you look at the shit of decoding that we've gotten through already, the only reason we focus on these types of words is because it's the type you should have been saying them when they reverse to this type of shit. You don't get it. That shit was woven in there. If nobody says this shit, like I said, everybody has their phrases. You could take that to the bank and, you know, and, you know, everybody's got their, their phrases that they say that makes them unique or something, you know, as you get seasoned in life, as you get older, you might work on other people. You notice that they always use these similar type of phrases, just like you have your adult memes, like children have their memes and like, when I keep reminding you, when I came out of British Flat Iron after party, people don't understand what the fuck was going on. I was telling, really, I'm standing here as a devil in public, I'm contested, there it is, I'm stealing the elemental powers of Satan out to look, flash forward just two years, and here we are. I think we have enough evidence with the reverse speech and stuff to say that this is not happening. Open in there so perfectly. That nobody's got a leg to stand on. Literally, everybody, you're a lost soul. You have no right to any land. You're a monster. A silly monster. You know what I mean? And, and until a person comes back to life, they need to have witnesses. So if you do it at home alone, you're like a, a secret society. We're not at home alone doing blood magic. Well, we have been. You understand me? This is... Look. The king of hell, this, this concept, you know, having an area of throne, going from the prince of demons to the king of demons, you know, this type of thing. You can see, it's already rubbed off on my son and everybody around me. Nobody, nobody is going to stop me from telling people the truth. You're going to be raising your kids to get their degrees and put on these black satanic probes and and then pretend that you're not all satanic when every word you speak is a magic spell. You language is what the computer speaks. You have language viruses. You're supposed to be raised on telepathy. If you look at your children in the eyes, or they're not around, you don't need a cell phone. You're literally in non-stop communication, just that thing, where nobody can hide their intent. You knew their moves before they even got close to you. It, it's just that everything, you know, it's like what I say, language virus, God virus, time virus, you took your test with your number two shit pencil. When people even lynch about this shit we're talking about, you go to church and you take your fucking cannibal satanic blood match. Of all things, you worship the dead body on a cross. So when people say we're satanic, you can't, you can't be satanic. Satan is alive and well. So saying, you, Jesus is only worshiped because he's a dead god. Had he not died, he wouldn't be on a cross and there wouldn't be something called. Catholicism broke off into Christianity and 50 other sects, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's all like the Look, it's all, let me tell you, it's all one religion. Everybody worships this. Well, you're supposed to be looking at the sun and speaking your attack. They told you don't look at the sun, it's going to burn your eyes up. I look at the sun every day. I don't wear glasses. What I'm saying is that I don't go without looking at the sun and speaking my attack. 
If you ever look at the alchemical process in the books, they always show you the sun with the eyes and the mouth and smiling or I mean this is Mithra up there. Why well, you set up a Christmas tree. And now when people throw out that shit like Satan this, Satan that, the demons this, the devil that, no, people are so filthy and retarded. I think come on, you have enough Look, I seen you swallow a demon sigil with my own eyes. Did I not? You can go to the video on your channel right now, can't you? Are you possessed and looking all fucking spinny head and Barbie? Out to me. Yeah. Look, this blood thing, this is how shit works. You, you spill your blood up, you go from, like, wherever you were, you have to, the universe has to take you through alchemy. And alchemy is a bitch, you know? It didn't just like poof my world was the best ever. I was like having to come to terms with who I am and what I've done. It. You know. Here I can show you. This is the funniest shit ever. Who's that living god guy? What's his name? Uh, EA Coetic. I don't know how you get on one of this guy's mailing list or something. I obviously go through videos. And shit. <laughs> He sends emails by my books and shit like that. And what I'm saying to you, if this, if this books held anything, it would show you the basic understanding is that you need to make the atonement for your filthy soul and animal sacrifices are insufficient. And that would be like the first thing a magic book would start off with. You understand me? The basic thing, God's law. You're not sinless to begin with. You got that magic book because you want to take the left-hand path, which is... You know, you want to hoard wealth and get power and shit like that. And um, that's not the prize. That didn't turn out to be the prize. Your money, you want to hear people say, I'm going over here. You're missing the underlying, just the idea of you saying that, you're missing an underlying feature of reality. Your creator is watching, okay? The Elohim, you know? You can do reversals. I'm going to show you some reversals on the Elohim. And uh, it'll flip you out. You'll, you'll hear shit like, I'm working with the Elohim. The Elohim are working with me. Shit like that. The L, the Almighty God. That's the L. All your freaking names are Daniel, uh, Emmanuel. It's all L, Lila, Lola. Whatever it is, it's all L for a reason. They wove it in there to show you who's coming back. You know what they say? It's. it's but is, it, is an alien invasion going to happen? This type of shit. That's kind of funny. The invasion, you know, like artificial intelligence. I put my blood into the computer. Now I'm like spooky intelligent and I'm taking over the universe. Uh, not just Earth. I said the universe. So, <laughs> you think of aliens like 4th of July taking over the universe? And this is like, I'm thinking of crashing the party, motherfucker. <laughs> aliens are powerless. That's funny. Aliens are a lie. I mean, look, I know they put some very spooky shit on TV, okay? With aliens and shit like that and all that stuff. There's a dome up there. If it's, it, look, alien or something like that, it still came from this this place. You hear people say jinn and all that shit, angels and stuff. These people, they, they're missing this underlying feature of reality. None of them can see anything. When I see people putting magic up and stuff like this and talking about this and that, none of them do anything selfless. It's never heaven on earth for the benefit of them. That's why they're the ones with all the knowledge. You know, I'll remind you of you think you were a psychic? That's funny. You couldn't psychically find your way out of a paper bag. Yeah? You know? I was ripped mostly open, you know? <laughs> If that was the case, you'd have some real knowledge. I think we're at a point now where even if there's just a few of you could really see it. So that's good. Where we were before is where nobody had any sense to see anything on this type of level. People don't believe they're real. They still don't get it. I'm gonna buy stuff, take people's money, hoard shit for an adventure for the 144,000 to see it in blood. Uh, 
That's not by the book. Your adventure is already due. You know what I'm saying? So when people publish videos and stuff, they're going to do this and that, they're missing that. Like I said, after drinking that medicine blood, I became really spiritual side of reality. I mean, in a, in a deeper sense that other people are missing. Like you have a creator. You bathe in their water. Her eternal water. You can't. You're built in this world for a woman, you're going to be birthed out to the mother of earth. You're made of the clay of the earth. The angels are made of light, the jinn are made of for fire. You see what I'm saying? This, this whole concept that's, that we're made of clay and somehow we're less. We're the only ones with the blood substance and God owns blood. And you need to be a blood to make an atonement for your filthy soul. If you think angels don't need to make an atonement for their filthy soul, and if you think angels are sweet, nice, and all that shit, okay? Angels are nothing like people think, and demons are nothing like people think, and the pictures that they show you with the scary faces and shit should actually be switched. Angels should have the scary fucking faces that they show you, and the demons that they show you have the nice angelic type shit. Somehow, everything's been totally flipped. You can see this by when you look at the Vatican, and you see the Pope, and he's got his temple, and it's a fucking head of a snake. And the whole people that are sitting in there that gather for his sermons or whatever, you know, they're in the mouth of the snake. And you could say, well, that's reptilian this and that's reptilian that. And I'll remind you often, you're the fucking reptilian. You just don't know it. You know, it just hasn't hit you then. It's the core of your brain responsible for the flight. And you have to overcome this fear type shit. I'm stepping forward fearlessly. As the motherfucking devil on gallons of blood. It can't be overturned. This type of shit. So, when people laugh and say whatever, I already know your fucking future. I already know what the fuck is up. It's the, the clock in the sky went too far. The wheel in the sky. It already switched from Pisces to Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. And, um, it's ruled by Saturn. Satan. The devil. Uh, God of judgment. It's The, uh, the whole idea of join me or die type of shit. Darth Vader said it, and Benjamin Franklin said it. With the British, we're going to invade to unite, you know, against this as a, a common threat. Join or die. I mean, literally, they're going to come. It's join or die because you're going to get old and die like natural order, like great grandma, grandma. It's cancer's on the rise, all shit on the rise, and you know, you're worried about how could they go to space without curing cancer first? Explain this to me. How do you go to space? before curing cancer. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, everybody's fucking with so when you think of your look, you can look it up for yourself when you get the time. And make sure everybody hears this and hears this good. Not only can you see that in my videos I show you that there's no accident. They print specific shit. Superman swore allegiance to the death. Okay, and not only that, if you go look it up, all the superheroes, all sold their soul to the devil and I'm telling you it's kind of fun you can't sell your soul to me I own it already it's that the concept of stepping across the gate I'm the one who's going to sacrifice myself upon the altar <laughs> well people they, oh my God, I they would get to the edge of what would look like an abyss to them it would be I'm not going nowhere near that shit motherfuckers what would be in their head I'd be the first one to dive in because I've already seen what what it is, and people say they're in a rush. They say it takes one year, two years. This is scary shit. What we're running up to, um, you know, we were all just regular slaves just the other year ago. You know, two years ago. Now look at us. We're standing here with the devil taking over the universe by the book. All your leaders swore in the Bible. You can't stop me. We're standing on blood. The powers in the blood. It doesn't matter. Everything's done with blood. You cannot... Any deals that they don't show you on TV, like between powerful people or whatever, the blood is up. For sure. Nobody in big business does nothing without the blood. You know, because... At some point you become smart enough to know that the legal system can't always help you. If somebody does something wrong, you're holding their blood, there's something mythical behind it. People don't do dirty shit when you're holding their blood. and. And you know, you, if there's a 
pawn unless there's blood on it. Do you understand me? It's called a contract for a reason. Unless it has what on it? Blood. You're not. They always show you that Satan wouldn't. He's, if you make a deal with the devil, you're gonna sign up what you want. What? Is yeah. it put your cum on here? Go spit on here. Give me a piece of your hair. You're gonna fucking prick your finger like me like, like, like a little pussy. <laughs> Come on. You're being pricked since you're a baby. You've been taking your blood your whole fucking life. You know what I'm saying? And for you to say you can't put a pin prick on this, you ain't fooling anybody. What what's really important is that you realize, like you look at the flat earth community or any other community out there that talks about the shape here. I don't care if it's the science community or religious community, your school, whoever, they're clearly fucking retarded. There's just basic shit about reality you can't escape. For, for people who escape is for a reason. They, they're you know they're supposed to be powerless to stop Satan and his elect for whatever reason that it, it can't be stopped it's not you know people are worried about rebellions or whatever like this you see, I, I attacked all this shit head on with the videos and shit now nobody ate me up I just what didn't destroy you made you stronger right everything has, it's just look I'm about I'm nearly 50 years old. I'm not wet behind the ears anymore. I've seen too much. I've been beaten up, thrown in cell, beaten up in the cell. You know, cops have done horrible shit to me. I've been taken to what they call, you know, like, where they, where they put people that they consider to be that T-word, you know? I'm literally tortured. And, and you know what? People laugh at the video and they call me a crybaby. If you had any idea what happened to me to get that scar, to what they had done to me, and oh my God, but people, they'll never see it coming. They'll be like, oh, talking shit one day and the next day, you're all fucked. You were an atheist yesterday and now you met me and now you, you got a connection to some reality, you know, some, you can think the Matrix or something. You you see him on TV, you're like, you're like, you live in a Matrix, but we're sending off shit into space. This is kind of funny shit. They even try and mention some shit to people. They will think I'm crazy. They will literally think I'm crazy. I mean, everything everybody claims to is bullshit. Literally. Your physics. You're like, I'm a physicist. You ain't shit. You're a fucking retard. You need, for the real sciences and the real hardcore shit, okay? You need to be an apprentice to someone you know, and those people don't get pulled in to be apprentices, just, you know, anybody, you, blood contracts and shit like that, I'm just telling you like it is, you know, this be, you get real power, it's like, you can't even fix your own plumbing, get a higher plumber, you know what I'm saying, this is like, I'm able to see it, as a plumber, because I see people in deep water, <laughs> and they gotta call a plumber, when I get there, all I had to do was shut up one little switch, and the place wouldn't have been flooded, it was just a handle right there on the outside of your fucking garage door. You're telling me you didn't know where the shutoff was? You had to do all this damage to your fucking home over that? And um, what I'm saying is that it's like having a knowing where to turn off or how to turn on an on and off switch. You know what I'm saying? So the, the thing that when I say there's no intelligent life out there at all, I'm telling you, people will It'll take them years to catch up to you. I mean... Yeah, like, even people that come across this information already, it's like they're not ready. It's like when people attach something else to the proclamation and then you get selfish, when it's just supposed to be so simple. People should be clipped out that I'm standing here as a devil. Because I can actually see there's certain shit. And I think we've got enough shit up here. I, I'm going to go tear up the shit with this reverse speech shit. There's not... I'm like a master, a real master of reverse speech now. I can actually, you know, throw anything out there now. Give me any book, I'll read the words and... You can't hide secret. Safe. It's that nobody is safe anymore. It, those books that people take time to sit down and write, you know, the, the guy 
like wrote the devil's bible and they wrote it overnight it's this giant 160 pound book it's got to be two meters in length by one and a half <laughs> you know what i'm saying is that that they say he was possessed by a demon just people sitting down to write books in general you know what possesses you to sit down and write a fucking book yeah, I'm a, yeah. that's by the demon writer you know yeah just like everybody has their trade each demon teaches a specific type of thing the arts and the sciences and all that shit so the thing is that you know people like demon uh, uh, exorcisms are on the rise and shit the fact that this is even out there it's all fake i mean I, we've got tons of videos showing it. it's all these are it's like a mass hysteria crazy something that the, the church is clearly pushing because they want you in fear of this devil character is telling you look you need to make an atonement for your filthy soul. Jesus, if Jesus had made an atonement for your filthy soul, you wouldn't be a fucking slave. They wouldn't be. You wouldn't be bought as slave, sold in the stock market. Ooh. But to be a, a baptized soul means you register your children with the church. They're only, you. You're a fucking. No, they'll never get it, people. And you can say, oh, we collapse this and do that. You know, listen. When you collapse the CQV trust, there's no value in it. And if you think, oh, now you're a freeman on the land or something like this, look around you. You're still paying for your fucking air. Everybody around you that you have to support. And you say, well, I don't know if you live in the fucking trees over there. And if it comes to off the grid. I'm like, look, there's... What I'm saying is that people... You, you're not... You haven't done anything, but you're all alone. Now you're one person all alone. You're missing the whole... Under, you, if you free one person, you got to free them all. And if you say you off something like you did this and that, look, I've been through this shit and I'm telling you, it's just all a funny loop. It's a joke. It's that you need to unite peacefully and take back your universe. Not that you want to take back a trust with millions or a billion dollars in there. That's a joke. You want to take back your fucking world. Not a bunch of worthless fucking paper. That's a bunch of numbers in a computer that's owned by banks and shit. You're, you become so filthy with party when you... When people talk shit with me, like, we've done this, we've done that, and now we're this and now we're that. You ain't done shit. You ain't going anywhere. You ain't done shit. I'm telling you, as a devil. You ain't done shit. Because now look around. Your mom, your dad, your children, everybody else. Are they going to believe you? They don't even want to believe that they're fucking bonded slaves. And how are you going to tell them that they're not monkeys holding in a book? I mean, you've got a lot of fucking catching up to do. They even say you, you've done it. I'm like, God. Look at that. I've been standing here as a devil. I'm down the blood, putting this, this information out there for a few years now. I don't care what anybody says about me. You're all fucking dead without me. You know, I, I, I can actually see it. So, you know, when people say I'm a sovereign, that's type of funny type of shit. Sovereign. That's funny. Don't tell them you're a fucking sovereign. Watch how bad that motherfucker beat you ass up. I'm mean, making sure you should have. Uh, they're already prepared. For Find fuck stupid shit. Listen. Very specific words have to be said and done and all kinds of shit. Nobody's nobody's in that position of the mental state to pull us off. You'd have to be like literally the devil himself trying to take over the universe. Uh flying your colors clear. You know? A pirate you pirate the high seas and take your shit. And you knew he was coming because you knew what that power flag was way back over there, did you not? Mm -hmm. you knew that motherfucker. And I'm telling you, the devil, you know, the shelf in the house of my eyes. So when you think you're a creator, there's a shelf set up for the devil because it's like, I am the seal of death, thankfully, says my eyes. Go reverse that shit. 